So you may have heard of another acronym that the ad tech ecosystem has put out there, and that's SPO. SPO stands for Supply Path Optimization. In order to understand it, unfortunately, we have to take a little bit of a history lesson and go back into the annals of ad tech history to understand how we got to this point. In the beginning, there were ad servers, and ad servers were operated by publishers in order to deliver ads to their websites. Then, SSPs and ad exchanges came along to monetize the rest of the inventory that the publisher couldn't sell directly. Over time, SSPs started to work with publishers exclusively. But one of the downsides of doing that was is that the publisher wasn't able to avail themselves to the maximum amount of demand available for any given impression. So a new thing came along called header bidding. What header bidding created was competition amongst SSPs for the same impression, and it placed the SSPs upstream from the ad server so that they could conduct their auctions before passing those values into the ad server. Now, that was great for publishers because it increased the volume of demand for every single impression that came across, but it was also really good for demand side platforms because for the first time ever, we now had choice as to where we could transact any given impression. One way to think about SSPs is that they are a pipe to inventory. And so now, if in this new construct, I have options across four, five, six, maybe even eight different pipes to the same publisher, I now have a choice to make. Which pipe is most efficient for me? Which pipe is performing better for me? And which route to that supply is going to bring me the best results I need as a marketer? Each of those pipes or routes to supply is considered a path. And each of those paths has different components. It has different signal that come from the SSP. It potentially has different take rates from the SSP. And it potentially also has different performance due to all of the other factors that comprise that singular pipe to the inventory. So what we have the benefit of doing on the demand side is evaluating all of that data across all of the available paths or routes to that supply and then make an effective decision on an impression to impression basis as to which route is going to be most effective for the marketer at that moment in time on that impression. So I'm sure you're asking yourself, all right, now I understand SPO, hopefully, and what do I do now? As a brand or a marketer, you really should be thinking about your strategy. When you look at programmatic, it's not as simple as it once was, where there was a single exclusive route to supply. Now you have options. One way to be thinking about SPO is partnering with your technology platform to determine what are the most efficient and effective and lowest fee routes to the supply that you want to work with. And have that same conversation with your publisher partners. Your publisher partners will happily talk about who they're working with across the supply landscape. And through partnership with your publishers and your technology platforms, you'll be able to determine the most efficient and effective route. So as you think about SPO in the future, make sure that you're having this conversation with your technology partners and having this conversation with your publisher partners to make sure that you're always finding the best route or path to supply in the future.